Good day everyone, especially Mom Olan. First, we want to introduce ourselves. My name is Delusrae Swendelin R. I'm Kenya Charming N. I am Dima Paltangian Eric C. I'm Maulion Giselal Hernandez. Maulion Angelo E. The topic that Mom Olan gave to me and with my groupmates is all about Memorandum. Memorandum. The memorandum from the Latin word memor and become memorandum meaning something to be brought to mind. And when the Middle English came, the meaning of memorandum became the head of a note of a record made for future reference. According to dictionary, memorandum is a written reminder and a note or record made for future use. Written reminder because true memorandum or in other words, a note, lease, record, or report will remind persons what the information is trying to convey and to know what the memorandum contain. According to law, memorandum is a document recording the terms of a contract or other legal details. A memorandum, more commonly known as a memo, and something brief but important. Memos can be used to quickly communicate with a wide audience or keep in private with a person who has the authority. Memorandum, it means a note to help the memory an inter-office communication dealing with official matters which is commonly used in police service. Tones of the memorandum, there is no strict rule governing the tone of a memorandum. However, the tone usually differs in accordance with the persons reading it. Number one, from a chief of police to his subordinates, the tone is impersonal. Example, for guidance and strict compliance. Number two, from a writer writing a memorandum to somebody of equal rank, the tone is casually personal. Example, the undersigned notice changes in. Number three, a subordinate police officer writing a memorandum to a higher police officer uses a more formal tone. Example, for information and request acknowledgement. The general usage or purpose in other government agencies similar to police offices, using 4 and 2 is commonly practiced. The memorandum 4 is used if sent to a superior officer. Superior officer means is the higher rank of the police. Next is the memorandum 2 is used if sent to subordinate officers. So subordinate officers is the lowest rank of the police or the subordinate officer is following or follow to the superior officer. Police organization adopts memorandums in the following general usage. First, to inform. Second, to answer. Third, to record a significant event for special reports and basic transmittal, etc. Parts of Memorandum Heading All the materials above the first line of the body comprise the heading. These are office origin, address, file reference, identifying initials, date, subject, channels through which the letter will pass, and address to whom the letter is being written. Example is letterhead. Makikita natin sa pinakataas ng Progress Report, Yung Republic of the Philippines, National Police Commission, Philippine National Police, Santa Rosa Police Station, Santa Rosa, Nueva Ecija. 
So, papakita ko sa inyo later yung examples of header ng progress report. So, yung bawat logo na nakalagay doon ay may kanya-kanyang sukat. Sa star flag in header, 1, 2, 3, 4 stars. Ang haba niya is 0.66 at ang lapad niya is 0.92. Sa PNP and office unit logo in header naman, pag PNP logo is, ang haba niya ay 1 and ang lapad niya is 0.8. Sa unit logo in header naman is vote 1 ang sukat nila sa width and length. So, ito naman yung examples of header. So, makikita natin na meron ng logo na may tamang sukat at buo yung header na nakalagay dito. Ang example nito ay yung nasa itaas ng progress report. Makikita natin. Nakasulat dyan yung Republic of the Philippines, National Police Commission, Philippine National Police, National Capital Region Police Office, Quezon City Police District, Batasan Police Station 6, IBP Road, Batasan Hills, Quezon City. And other example is Republic of the Philippines, National Police Commission, Philippine National Police Regional Office 3, Bulacan Police Provincial Office, Marilao Municipal Police Station, 2nd Floor Old Municipal Hall, Publasyon 1, Marilao, Bulacan. So, makikita natin sa left side yung PNP logo. And then, dito naman sa right side yung logo ng unit. Next one is file reference. So, it is called the office symbol. A file reference is placed on the first margin, usually two spaces below the letterhead. It varies according to the individual item of correspondence. Each part of the reference is also used as identifying information on the second and subsequent pages. Example nito is CCPS-IN. Next, dadako naman tayo dito sa identifying initials. Some offices place the surname or the initials of the originator and typist of the letter. Ang example niya is MLBFRJR slash OGS slash 600-3752. Next is the address. The address preceded by memorandum for our memorandum 2 is written in black style with open punctuation and is normally placed before the file reference. Memorandum 4. It is written above the address if sent to a superior officer. Memorandum 2. It is used if sent to subordinate officers by the chief or head. Position and placement. It is typed on legal or custom size bond paper, 8.5 by 13, long, only one side of the sheet is used. Example is Memorandum for Provincial Director Kuwet NEPPO. So, nagkakaroon dito pag sa Memorandum for ng abbreviation. For example, is Provincial Director BPPO. Ang ibig sabihin ng BPPO is Batangas Police Provincial Office. So, when it is necessary, however, to address correspondence to an individual by name, his grade, first name, middle name, and last name are indicated in that order. His badge, number, and branch of service may be shown if it is known and considered necessary for identification. Example, Memorandum 4, SPO 4, Juan Santos Cruz, 031740, PNP. I'm going to discuss is part of heading. So, 5. In turn, addressing. When letters are routed to several addresses, the entire address of each office is placed on a single line as much as possible. So, kapag daw po nag-address or uh, naglalagay kung saan ibibigay yung isang letter or report, dapat is nakasingle line lang ito. So, uh, for example, Memorandum 2, uh, provincial Director BPPO or NEPPO. So, 
Ah, uh, sa example is naka-indicate lang yung kung saan ibibigay yung report na sa isang single line lang. So next is attention line. For fastest routing, uh, correspondence may be addressed to the individuals or the head of the sub subdivision or by the use of the office symbol. The name is used only when there is a special reason for calling the attention of the individuals. Known to handle the type of correspondence concerned and when it known that he will be at the addresses. So, sa attention line naman po, is ginagamit yung attention line kapag ka merong individual uh, or person na dapat naka-indicate doon sa sa pagbibigyan. So, ginagamit lang yung attention line uh, kapag ka meron taong involved na pagbibigyan ng isang uh, memorandum or ng isang report. So, example nito ay address to the attention of an individual. So, memorandum to Chief of Police SRPS. So, under nung to Chief of Police SRPS, nandun yung attention line na nakasadun yung name nung isang individual. So, dito is SPO4 1S Cruz PNP. So, yun yung example nung attention line. So, another example is address to the attention of the head of the office. So, Memorandum 2, Chief of Police, SRPS. Under nun is attention line, nandun yung attention line na Chief, OPNS, and Plan Sec. C. Address to the attention of the head of a unit or command by the use of an office symbol. So, 7 is sen Sender or Originator. The Sender or origina Originator uh, preceded by the word from is written in the block style with often punctuation and normally placed below the addressing. So, yung sender or uh, originator, ito yung pinanggali pinagalingan ng isang report or ng isang memorandum. So, ito ay usually makikita sa babaan ng uh, addressing. So, uh, to sunod nun to is from so, yun yung sender or originator. So, example na sender or originator is from Chief of Police SRPS. So, next is H, subject. The subject line should contain no more than 10 words. It start to a space below the sender and to a space to the right of the colon. So, yung subject, ito yung Kung para saan ba yung isang report or kung para saan yung isang memorandum. So, subject is kailangan uh, no more than 10 words lang siya. So, example is subject. Uh, special report, pre-homicide with rape transferred at Barangay Rizal, this city. So, yung mga subject dito naka-indicate yung kung anong klaseng memorandum yung uh, ibibigay mo or ipapasa kung ito ba ay spot report or progress report or final report. Number 9 is date. The date is placed below the subject. Example, date June 1, 2020. So, look at the example provided. So, we can see the date is found under the subject. Body. It is the message itself. This part is type single space, except when it is less than 9 lines, and no reply is expected, in which case it may be double space. Double spacing is always used between paragraphs. Number 1. Paragraph. When a letter consists of only one paragraph, the paragraph is not numbered. Although, its subparagraphs will be lettered if there are two or more. When there are two or more paragraphs, they are numbered consecutively. The first line of paragraph is intended by bar spaces. The succeeding lines begin on the left margin. There must be at least two subparagraphs, for example. If there is one, there is two. 
the first line is intended so that the designated letter appear directly under the first letter of first word in the main paragraph. The second and succeeding lines of these subparagraphs begin on the left margin. Number two, abbreviation. A memorandum allow abbreviation which are generally allowed in the police service. They are usually written without spacing or periods, except geographical location. If the full name is used, the abbreviated rank is permissible. If family name only, the rank is spelled out. 3. References References to publication must be specific and fully implemented. References are not made to a publication or document which is not available to the addresses of the correspondents. Example Reference Spot report the shooting incident that resulted to the death of Nestor de la Torre E. on dust. Next example is spot report on allied stabbing incident. 4. Page numbering The page should not be numbered. Subsequent page including those on which endorsement are prepared are numbered consecutively beginning with the second page as two. The page number is centered one inch from the bottom of the page. The number should stand by itself and should not be set up. Dashes, parentheses, or some other punctuation. 5. Divided the paragraph. Three or fewer lines should not be divided between pages. At least two lines of divided paragraph should appear on each page. In dividing a sentence between page, at least two words should appear on each page. A word should not be divided between two pages. The complementary ending should not appear alone on a page without part of body or text. When the space below the text is not sufficient for the close, at least two lines of the last paragraph may be placed on the last page together with the complementary ending. On the second and the success succeeding page, the file reference and subject should be typed beginning the left margin, 1.25 inches from the top edge of the page. The text is continued on the second line below the identification line. So here is the example of body of the memorandum. Complementary ending. Complementary ending. This refers to the materials found below the last paragraph of the body. It consists of the authority line, it used signature list of enclosures, and copies being furnished. First authority line. Example, if signing for chief or head of office and address to member under him. Uh, example, in by authority of Police Superintendent Gibong, Efrenilo Pajardo Restua, Police Inspector, Deputy Chief of Police. Then, example, in after operation report, dun sa pinakababa, uh, makikita nyo example ng authority line. Second, if not addressed to a member under him, for the Chief of Police, Efrenilo Pajardo Restua, Police Inspector Deputy Chief of Police Note, a staff may sign under authority line only when authorized to do so. So, bago ka mag-sign, kailangan authorized ka na pumirma doon. Kung hindi man, hindi kailangan, hindi ka pumirma. Okay, second, signature. An example of signature, Peter Dol Nuan Gibong, Police Superintendent, for Efrenilo Pajardo Restua, Police Inspector, Deputy Chief of Police. Enclosures. Enclosures are supplementary documents which are sent with the communication to provide additional information. Example, enclosures, one crime scene sketch, two picture of crime scenes. Fourth, copy for niche other office. Example, copy for niche. R.D. Quet, 
P R O S and D K U E T N S U S. Yun yung example of copy for niche. Records of intermediate receipt. All intermediate recipients of a communication should make a record of such communication only when an office of record is inaccessible and when the retention of a brief current record of the communication is necessary. Such record shall show only the minimum requisite information, except in unusual circumstances, no copy of the letter itself will be made. Notation for record purposes of secret materials should be such that the content of the letter is safeguarded. That must be remembered. Special handling. Correspondence sometimes requires special handling. When it is necessary, words such as airmail, special delivery, etc. are stamped or typed on the center of the top and bottom of the first page. Assembling. The pile, copy, and relevant papers should be arranged from top to bottom as follows. Number one, pile copy of outgoing letter on top. If consisting of more than one page, last page on top. Number two, correspondence or synopsis to which reply has been made, if any. Number three, copies of enclosure, if any, in numerical sequence. Endorsement letter. An endorsement letter is a reply or a forwarding statement usually added to a letter. An endorsement is meant to furnish information, comment, or recommendation. The use of a third person such as the writer, the undersign, this unit, or this office is prescribed to achieve objectivity. This is not a personal matter. It is an official one wherein the sender acts in a particular problem in behalf of their agency he belongs to. Endorsements are numbered consecutively starting with births. A civilian endorsement is typed below the sender's address or heading or letterhead and above the date line, which is also above the text. Hence, a communication being endorsed to a superior office shall use respectfully forwarded or respectfully submitted and never referred or transmitted. If sent to an office of equal rank, it is respectfully transmitted to subordinate units respectfully referred. Correspondence returned to an office where it originated or where it has been recorded use respectfully return regardless of the rank of the office concerned. Starting with the word respectfully, whether submitted, forwarded, transmitted, referred, or returned, the text is usually composed of one paragraph, should be brief, accurate, clear, and definitely following grammar rules. We conclude that memorandum is very essential, especially to the Philippine National Police. Police officers should be trained enough to make a proper memorandum because making a memorandum is one of the duties of the police officers, especially in making a report in terms of the crime that they investigate. Memorandum is one of the important to fulfill their job as police officers because police officers must be familiarized to all the aspects of parts of the memorandum so that when creating a memorandum, the police officers will create the memorandum right show following the format. Moreover, 
If the police officers follow the parts and format of the memorandum, they will easily write the letters and also the receiver will easily understand what the sender is trying to import. Thank you for your listening. Once again, my name is Dilstrais Wenzelin R. I'm Kenya Charming N. I am Dima Paltanjan Eric C. I'm Maulion Gisela Hernandez. Maulion Angelo E.